I've shown you one finger that you can hammer on in that chord. What about the other fingers? Well, in some of the open chord positions, all of the fingers you can change and move around and hammer them on. In the A minor chord in particular, let's have a look. The second finger works. The first finger on the B string, that works. That works. And I think even the third finger works. It's a bit trickier to do, but it should work. So you'd have the open G ringing and... And you'd hammer on down for that. What's the point? What's the point of doing this? Well, it just helps add variation and colour to your playing. If I was just playing that same rhythm without doing any hammer-ons... got momentum, but the moment I add some hammer-ons within a chord, it's just going to help add some, some colour to the chord. It really helps you play. And it's such a simple technique to do to get down once you've learnt it. It's very easy to do. Okay, let's move on to another chord. That's the A minor chord. Each and every finger in the A minor chord you can lift and off and hammer back down and it should work and sound fine. We move to the D major chord. Again, if you're a complete beginner and you're not sure what D major is, look it up on the internet or just follow and pause me now and have a look. So D major open shape, of course, the D string is our root note, so that we're going to again do some target strumming and strung from the D string down. Okay, so we've got D, that's D major. Same technique applies. Let's take the first finger this time, lift it off and hammer it on. So that's the finger that's on the G string. If we were to play the D major chord with it off, sounds like that. And let's strum and then hammer it back on. As you can see, helps add some colour. What else can you do with the D major chord? Second finger works also. Third finger, eh, some would say it works. I don't think it sounds so good. And again, it's a bit trickier to do. But that would be the open note you're hammering on from. So A minor, you've got all three fingers will work. D major, you've got the first and second fingers that can work with a hammer on within the chord. Let's go to say an E major. E major, all three fingers again will work like the A minor with a hammer on. three fingers work fine. If I'm moving on to a quick stop, move back, pause, have a look. It is a technique that you're going to need to get down and it is quite tricky depending on your guitar to get them to ring out clearly and cleanly. Even I have trouble at times as you can hear to get things to ring out clearly and cleanly, particularly at slower tempos. On an acoustic guitar, what are the, some of the troubles that you may have? or even on an electric, what are some of the problems you may have when you try and use this tip or technique? Well, you may be getting sore fingers because you're not actually used to the movement of actually lifting a finger off and hammering it back on with some force. Again, you're going to need to practice. Things take time. Your fingers are going to build up strength. But just try and, even if you have to, without strumming for a while, just make the shape and just practice lifting a finger off and hammering it back on. You do actually have to hit the f your finger back onto the string, back in that fret, with some conviction for it to make a clean, clear ringing note. If you were to just lift it off and place it back on, sometimes it's just not going to work. If you've struck the string at the right time, it might, it might work fine, but being able to lift your finger off and hammer it back on with some real force is it's going to take time and practice. Well, essentially, that is the tip. That's the technique, that's the trick. 
such a simple one. Yes, it's going to take a bit of practice and time, particularly if you've never done hammer-ons before, but playing an open chord and hammering on one of the notes within the chord just really helps, as you can hear, helps with the momentum. And it's a great tip or trick that a lot of players across many genres use. So I want you to practice that. Try all of the fingers in all of your open chord positions out. See which ones sound really good, see which ones don't sound so good. Some will sound great, some won't. You're only going to know when you start trying them out. In terms of song pond, there are a lot of songs on the songpond.com website that feature this tip or this particular technique. I'm thinking of songs like Hurt by Johnny Cash, uh, and Flake by Jack Johnson. I hope this has been of some help for you. And we'll see you again soon for the second episode of songpond.tv. Don't forget to write in and have your say and let us know what you'd like to see happen with the show. All right, we'll see you again very soon. Keep up the good practice and check it all out on the website. Okie doke, bye for now. SPTV, proudly brought to you by songpond.com, where you learn to play your favorite songs.